Now, one would think that, you know, the issue of the faction should have ended uh, prior to the elections in 2023. But that's not the case now. The factions still trailing uh, political parties. Three senators belonging to the All Progressive Congress, APC Senator Ahmed Kaitar, representing Katsina North, Lawan Yahaya Kumar of Bounty South and Francis of Edo North, have registered or resigned their membership of the All of the ruling party, while ba Baba Kaita and uh, others defected to the opposition party, that's the People's Democratic Party. Gumar, on the other hand, defected to the new Nigerian People's Party, that's the NNPP. The notice of their resignation designate, uh, defection was contained in a three separate letter uh, that was read during the plenary by Senate President Ahmed Lawan also a member of the House of Representatives from Oyo State, Mr. Shina Pella, has named Accord as his new political party. Nika Gule continues the conversation with us this morning. Nika Gule, it's good to have you join us. He's a public affairs analyst. Thank you very much, Messi. Mm. Nika Gule, what do you make of the defection uh, that is still going on even as we get close to 2023, one would think that uh, there should be a timeline, you know, game over, and the defection should have ended. Well, uh, thank you very much for that question, Messi. Uh, defection has come to be part of the Nigerian political landscape, and I can assure you that uh, we have not seen the end of defection yet. These defections are going to continue from now into the lead up to the elections next year. And even after the elections have happened and new leaders have emerged, you will still see defections happening because some people will be on the losing end of the political divide when we get to 2023. And you will see them quickly jumping onto the winning train and positioning themselves so that they will be appointed to one office or the other. So that has become the, 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 the problem, uh, or should I say the, the signpost of the Nigerian political landscape that these people are defecting from one end to the other. And for me, this is why I say, well, when people are taking positions in our politics based on parties, I tell them they, they, they actually they are, they, are, they are stupid to be taking such position because there is nothing like party in Nigeria. There is nothing as party in terms of having ideology. You know, elsewhere, like in the UK where I live, um, we have two parties. You have the Conservative Party and you have the Labour Party. And these two parties have their ideologies. So a conservative remains a conservative and a labor man remains a labor man. Because uh, the, the, the two parties, in terms of their ideologies, are able, you are able to know what they will respond to, no matter what the issue is. Say, for instance, I'll give you an example. The, the conservative party, they want to have a, a, a small government, so there should be less taxes, small taxes, so that both corporates and individuals can take their economic decisions. The Labour Party wants a bigger government so they tax people more, so that government will have revenue and deliver social welfare. So you can clearly see the difference in the ideology. So you couldn't be someone who was saying, eh, I want less taxes on corporates and individuals as a conservative man. And then tomorrow you jump and say, oh, I want more taxes so that we can provide social welfare. That is when parties have ideology. In Nigeria, parties don't have ideologies. People are only using parties as platforms to be able to assess power, you know? So this jumping from one end to the other of the poli uh, political spectrum is going to continue. In fact, it doesn't even start it. Messi, it doesn't start it. By the time we get closer to the election, that is when you will see more decampings. And then after the elections, when winners have emerged, those who have lost or we are on the losing side will still be decamping so that they can position themselves for political appointments. 
Well, let's look at the reason why. I mean, you have raised very valid uh, point that has constantly been an issue on the front burner of, uh, you know, the nation, especially when we talk about the electoral process and political parties, that political parties do not have ideology. People don't stand for anything. You can categorically state, even though you have in, on paper uh, what these parties say they stand for, maybe or maybe not, uh, uh, it's not communicated clearly. But that has been the argument. But you have these persons who have defected. I mean, we're talking about this uh, lawmakers now. They're saying that uh, the decision is anchored on the continuing and, uh, you know, continuing crisis that has bedeviled the APC, especially their district. I mean, uh, varying differently. And another issue is the issue of marginalization. They have constantly said that they have been marginalized uh, by the leadership of the party and the government and not been considered. In words, you would hear uh, some of these uh, senators saying, uh, I'm a small person, I, I don't have a place. But these are valid issues, right? Or should these issues not be considered by these persons who belong to these parties? You know, uh, Mercy, uh, I, I, I always see Nigeria as an unfortunate nation. We're unfortunate, probably unlucky that the people that step forward to lead at various levels in Nigeria are so selfish and they, 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 they don't even hide their selfishness. You know, look at the reasons that these guys are profiling. You know, continuous uh, crisis in the party, I am being marginalized. One of them is talking about the fact that, oh, we promised Nigerians that we are going to deliver A, B, and C and I can see that we are not delivering that A, B, and C. Therefore, I'm quitting. Oh, we, 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 we are looking at a, a lot of corruption in government. And I don't like this corruption. This money should be channeled to alleviating the poverty of Nigerians. Oh, we said we are going to, to do A, B, and C for Nigerians. And since we took power, we are not doing that A, B, and C for Nigerians. This is the reason why I'm quitting and I'm going to seek another platform to operate. We're not hearing things like that. We're hearing I'm marginalized. And what does he mean by marginalized? They, he, he, probably they are pushing him out of the room where they are sharing the national cake. He's finding himself into one corner or someone is trying to actually push him out of the door. And that is the reason for him why he's, he's uh, defecting. So uh, unfortunately, these are the kind of uh, people. These are the kind of people that we find in political office you know, and once they get into political office, it's about them and them alone and their families. Nothing for Nigerians, nothing for the nation. And that is why we continue to have a nation that is not doing well, but politicians are doing well. Because if you look at all these politicians, like we discussed ministers the other time, the governors, the, you know, all of those who are holding political offices, if you look at their own personal economies, from 2015 to 2022, their personal economies have improved. You can even see it. They built new houses, bought new cars. You know, they taking children abroad. They go abroad to, for medical. They've sorted themselves out. But Nigeria as a nation is not doing well. So these are the kind of people we have in office that are happy to do well in their own individual capacities without bothering that the nation that they represent is not doing well. So, uh, unfortunately, this, this is where we so, are. So, uh, uh, Nick but, Agule. But we can change it. We can change it because we, yes. Yeah, you have said that um, the fact that we have persons who are not, uh, who don't have national conscience and who are patriotic, who constantly put their interests above above uh, that of the nation's interest is the reason why we are where we are now. But some of the issues that um, you have, the Senator Keita has cited, for instance, as the internal crisis in the party. Are you saying that that's not a reason for one to actually say, hey, I, I don't belong to this party. I don't want to be belong uh, you know, to this political party. I have to take a leave. What internal crisis? that he's talking about is nothing more than the fact that they are jostling for power. They are jostling for power. Possibly he was seeking an elective office and he wasn't handed the ticket. 
or a candidate that he was supporting for elective office wasn't handed the, the ticket or he was looking for an appointment that has not come because if you ask the APC uh, national body to say, is there a crisis in your party? They will flatly tell you, no, there is no crisis in our party. There is no division in the party. You have not seen APC faction A or faction B. You know, there are parties that you have, we have a chairman, uh, another chairman, another chairman of the same party, and they are in court trying to adjudicate who is the authentic chairman the APC as a party doesn't have that, as far as we know, you know. So what this senator, I mean, uh, he's talking about is clearly his own personal interest that he sees that can no longer be realized under the platform of the APC. And that is why he's coming out lamenting and crying. When the, good, when the going was good, we didn't hear him. We didn't hear him. So this is the problem. And I'm sorry for Nigerians that follow these people uh, to be to be, you know, making enemies of each other. These people don't consider us as anything. You know, it is very tragic for any Nigerian to follow these politicians to be talking because I can assure you that this same person who is defecting now from the APC, when the, uh, the ground is fertile for him tomorrow, that same person is going to return to the APC. That same APC, he will return and they'll be making friends there. Do you understand? I can, like, like I'm from Benue State, I can give you the story of my governor. My governor was a PDP man. Uh, In 2015, the PDP refused to give him a ticket. Yes. Well, Nick Agule, I'm sure we can continue with this uh, story another day. Thank you so much for being part of uh, the show this morning. And thank you so very much, Mercy. It's always nice to have a conversation with you. Have a fantastic day. Please, Nigerians, go and register to vote. Go and register to vote. Our vote is our power. Let's make our voices heard in 2023. And all these shenanigans will put them to rest. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nika Gule. And that's it, the much we can take this morning on at the breakfast. Nika Gule is a public affairs analyst. We've been looking at the uh, defections that have not stopped. One would think that we're getting close to 2023 and, you know, political uh, actors, uh, gladiators, if you like to say, would probably just, you know, begin to consider the fact that you have less time. What's the essence of moving? But the movement has not stopped. We, uh, orders are saying, we anticipate more movement as we inch close to 2023. Now, and if you missed out on any part of the conversation, it would be great to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Do subscribe to YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Ibuko. Thanks for watching.